Hi, I'm Emily. We're at the Brentwood Urban Farm, and we are making a green smoothie today from our organic garden. We're going to start with, we didn't grow the flax seed, but it's organic, and we buy it in bulk, and that's why I put it in this earth balance, because you always reuse your plastic containers. We picked all the greens from the garden today. So there's a whole combination of wonderful things in here, but let's start with the celery. So celery has a really, really pronounced flavor, and so I didn't pick very much. So I usually cut off the stems, because they're a little more fibrous, and we give those to the chickens later. So celery. We're letting the flaxseed soak because it just um, blends better. So this is red Russian kale. It's wonderful, full of nutrients, especially iron. I'm a vegetarian, so I need to get extra iron. And same thing, cut off the stems. They just aren't quite as, you don't want your smoothie to be all fibrous. So this is wonderful Swiss chard. Mmm, love the Swiss chard. And uh, full of nutrients, great flavor. You want your smoothie to be the color of the rainbow, right? But mainly greens. This is a wonderful kamome kale that admittedly we stole from a garden we planted at the Bel Air Country Club. <laughs> this is Lacinto kale, better known as Dino kale. It has a wonderful flavor. Look how green that is, full of iron. We had a sick chicken and we nursed her back to health with dino kale. This is a wonderful mescaline lettuce. Just throw in a couple of those for fun. In a green smoothie, by far the largest ingredient, as you can tell by looking at the blender, are the greens. They have the most nutrients. Now everything else is sort of for flavor. We picked our limes from the lime tree this morning. And aren't they pretty? I just put in some of the juice, and it, half of it gets on the counter. The limes, we can't put in our compost pile because they're too acidic, so we put them just in the green bin. What's wonderful about picking your vegetables right before you put them in the blender is they retain all of their vibrancy and their nutritional values. Sometimes the greens we get in the store are a few days old because they've had to been shipped some, from somewhere, and so picking them right from your garden, have all the nutritional value. It's very important for your health. So now we're moving on to loquats. So these are loquats that we just picked three weeks ago from our loquat tree. We will reuse this freezer bag over and over and over again. It can be used more than once if you just clean it. And the loquats, they look a little brown, but trust me, they're fine. So now that we've done the loquats, we're gonna move on to the apples, same thing. We'll reuse this freezer bag. The apples were cut, my husband peeled and cored and cut them in the fall when we had our apple harvest. We've had them frozen now for a few months and um, throw those into the smoothie. And our strawberries are not in harvest yet, but they will be soon. So these are actually from the store. But biodegradable packaging and organic. Same with the blueberries. We can show you our blueberry plants later. They will be in harvest soon. And so the strawberries and blueberries will soon be coming from our plants. So every once in a while you have to go to the store. A Little bit of almond milk. We haven't started making our own almond milk yet. It's on our list of wanting to do. Unsweetened is important. The fruit already has enough natural sugars, so we don't want to add any more sugar than necessary. And that should do it, so now we're ready to blend. So we added a little bit of ice just to make it cool, since obviously the vegetables were out in the sun and weren't cool naturally. And voila! The same water I rinsed the vegetables in, to rinse this and you'll see that at the end of the process. Water is our most precious resource. It's good for me, good for you. Try. 
try it. Mm. Delicious. One thing I've learned is water can be used more than once. So the same water that washed the vegetables can also be used to clean out the blender. So let's shake it up. Pour it back in there. Now this I'll take outside to water the plants. So now these, the low quat seeds, go to our compost bin will biodegrade down and feed our gardens. All the citrus will go to the green bin that will go to the city because it's too, uh, too acidic to feed our compost. And my wonderful husband John will chop all of these into small pieces to feed our chickens who have an all organic, wonderfully he healthy diet because the healthier the chickens, the healthier the eggs. Nothing gets wasted. If Emily's going to be uh, making me something as delicious as that juice, I think at least I can do is do the chopping for her afterwards. The great thing is this stuff goes right out to the chickens, which we already made some hard-boiled eggs a little bit earlier. That's a result of our ladies out back, and it's because they eat so good during the day. Nothing gets wasted here at Brentwood Farms. Everything goes right back into the system, whether it's a compost, whether it's the choppings for the chickens, whether it goes off to the cities for the green bin, or whether it's in our water that goes out and feeds our plants. We try and have as little waste as possible here. This gets loaded into one of these little containers, which has been used probably about 1,500 times. And after we're done eating these eggs, the odd thing is a lot of people don't even know is we'll even use the shell for the chickens because it helps with the, keeps the shell tougher because they eat some of their own calcium. And so after we eat those, that will end up in here too. And go right back out to the ladies for another good meal. We got the nice chicken snack here after our smoothie. It's time to give it back to the ladies. Hi girls. You ready for a little snack? Here you go. Let's see if we have anything today. Oh, yes. Two more. Half a meal right there. So now we're going to take the green water outside. Now it might look a little scary but don't be frightened. There's nothing in here that we didn't just pick from the garden. There are remnants of the dirt that was on the vegetables, the little, a little bit of the vegetables themselves. There might be a small, tiny, tiny trace of almond milk, but almonds are actually grown on trees. So there's nothing in here that we can't put back into the garden. Let's go. <laughs> so beautiful. Hello, my beauties. There you go. Water got used at least three times. 